Hi, and welcome to my unit review of the zombie. In this video, I'm going to show you the uses of the zombie, his abilities, and his stats in a general overview. So, to get started, the zombie is a very, very versatile ranged unit, which can offer you physical damage, magic damage, and stress damage, with the main weakness of being quite vulnerable and, well, quite inflexible when it comes down to supporting skills. He's primary a damage dealer. So, let's get right into the skills. The first skill will be Wally. For, uh, is a slot 1 or 2 skill. Direct magic damage attack on every target in the enemy formation. Upgradable to ward ignorance or resistance ignorance. The skill is wonderful. It's a strong single target damage sk uh, skill. 120% are really much. And uh, you can uh, configure it to break resistances as needed. So the zombie can uh, destroy the resistance, but he can ignore it, which is which is very good. So next up is the buckshot, another skill for for the front line, an attack which deals damage to one target and two targets behind that, upgradable to armor ignorance or a straight up AOE on the whole enemy team. <laughs> Here we have another uh, attack that has the ability to be upgraded into uh, armor ignorance and let alone these two skills uh, feature the zombie's ability to hurt your enemies no matter what if you really want to. Next skill, another uh, slot 1 or 2 skill is the igniting mixture, dealing a damage over time effect to the enemy with a low initial damage and a pretty decent of burning damage for the remainder of the duration we can upgrade that for more damage for the damage over time or and that's pretty interesting here into a stress attack this changes the nature of the skill entirely it turns it into a stress damage over time even debuffing the enemy's luck accuracy and, ev and evasion with this upgrade the zombie gets more compatible for stress based comps a wonderful upgrade but as you noticed here, all three skills are usable from the front line. So half of the zombies skill set is already meant to be used from the front line. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. So next skill, more powder. The zombie gets uh, more damage for its next attack and this thing can stack. With this skill, we can upgrade that to uh, less damage, but block and ward increase and uh, an additional accuracy increase. With this skill you are able to pack one singular insane punch with this skill because uh, it's the next attack. Basically you can stack this up as long as you want to, um, doubling up the damage with every usage of the skill. Pretty insane. Bombardment. This is a stance which will uh, let the zombie delay a turn where he's doing nothing but being in the stance and the beginning of his next turn he'll fire four shots at random targets for a pretty low damage but it won't uh, consume an action and you can go right into the next attack this is a backline skill this is the first skill which is exclusive for, uh, exclusive for the backline and it combines pretty good with more powder um these skills combine really well uh, with each other and um, if we look at the upgrades, we can go for more damage per shot or conversion into magic damage and also more damage per shot. This skill uh, features more of the zombie's uh, premier ability, dealing a lot of damage to a lot of targets. So on its own, without preparations, the skill is okay. Really, it's better than it sounds. Uh, with more powder used at least once, it becomes quite insane. Use it more than once. Pretty net nasty, believe me. So let's go for the last skill, that's a cannonball. One shot, which shoves the zombie one square behind and shoves the enemy two squares behind as well. It deals 200% damage, costs a lot of wrath, is upgradable into a stress attack with the same features and another debuff comparable to the smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Or the light caliber, which uh, doesn't restrict the usage on the last uh, slot of her formation and uh, will cost less stress and shoves the enemy even further back. Um, this uh, cannonball skill is, well, as you notice here, there's no skill moving the zombie 
any in any form ahead in the formation. The zombie has only a way and means of moving himself back into the formation. So, if you don't go for this upgrade, you'll have to need somebody on the last uh, on this slot here, which is able to move the zombie back to slot three to get him uh, to get him back into. Uh, the ability to use his ult, which is kind of wonky, but it also uh, shows off another major weakness of the zombie. He's damn immobile, and I mean, it's pr quite fitting. It's a pretty big gun, and it's a zombie after all, so mobility shouldn't be a key feature of this unit. So, overall, the zombie is a very, very uh, thankful receiver of buffs. Increases attacks attack uh, numbers by any means let that be the lost soul or the ghoul or insert any means of attacking uh, increasing attack and this gets really nasty the whole downside about this unit in my perception so far is he has to live in the front slots to be very useful and these are the slots that get attacked a lot so if you don't use some tricks of protecting the zombie, like uh, buffing his defenses or healing him or whatever might be the case, um, you'll notice that the zombie deals a lot of damage in the front rows, but also dies quite quickly. Another downside. In the back row, he doesn't shine too much. The bombardment is pretty cool, um, but you'll notice that without the preparation, you won't be doing too much smack. And with the preparation, the... Well, the zombie attacks not that often, and stances are being uh, prone to interrupts from the enemy uh, side. So, let's get up to the stats before I go into the final summary. Um, the major strengths of the zombie would be, well, if we would, if we would uh, look at these numbers. Attack and Dread are upgradable 8 times, Init Initiative only 4, Armor 6, Resistance 8, um, the resilience side here is pretty uh, strong too. Six is not that high, but uh, the magic resistance is very high. Accuracy scales up insanely well with the 10 ranks. Luck and evasion being also quite high overall. So you notice this, the zombie has very few uh, weak sides on the stats table. Only the initiative is uh, not able to be increased insanely high. Apart from that, um, we are facing here two weaknesses for one the initi initiative, but also there's no way of increasing his vigor. The vigor is quite high with a base value of 120, but no way of increasing that. It's worth mentioning because of the fragility of his uh, position in your formation. So to sum it up, the zombie is a very reliable and uh, flexible damage dealer. You can upgrade him into ways that he can fit into every formation you want to let him fit in. and. That makes him to a great unit, but the whole downside is he needs some sort of protection or more focused uh, enemy combination combos will kill him quite quickly. If you want to use the bombardment skill more often, you'll gotta be uh, take you gotta be careful about the stance breaking enemies and uh, some preparation as well. I don't think there's much more to be uh, left to say about this unit. I hope this helped you a little bit to uh, gain some new insights or just to <laughs> notice that, you, that this guy is pretty easy and straightforward to understand because this unit is one of those. So feel free to drop me a comment down below. I would deeply appreciate that. Also, I would be super happy if you would support this video by liking it, sharing it, or even subscribing to my channel. Do whatever feels good for you. I don't mind if you don't do anything at all. I just hope you enjoyed your stay and see you guys next time, I hope. Bye-bye.